All right, I'm just going to do a really quick version of the site stuff for you guys. Um, so if you're doing the row house, you need to download the site setup file zip. And <clears throat> then what we're going to do is just use that template that's in there once you unzip it and start a new project. So I'm going to go to New and Browse and navigate to wherever it is that you unzipped that zip file. And sorry, it's a double folder, but um, pick the AO3 metric template. I know we're on AO2, but we'll live with it. And click OK. And it's going to upgrade that template. And then we're going to go immediately to the site plan and start making topography. Um, a little bit of arrangement, but pretty quickly get in there. So go to your site plan, um, and we're going to link we're going to go to insert and link CAD and I gave you a CAD file in there and you can pick it and leave all of this. You may want to invert the colors um, and click open. This is fine. There's an image file in that CAD file that it's not going to bring in but we don't need it so you can hit close and it brings in the CAD file and so what I want to do is I want to move the CAD file so the building which is this piece is centered on this. So I'm going to pick the CAD file unpin it, go to move, and kind of just get near the center of the building and move it over to there. And that's good. Um, the building is in the correct Z coordinate and north is correct. So it's been updated for that. I'll just repin it here. Um, so once you get it centered on the XY you should be good. So I'm going to go to my 3D view and I'm going to go ahead and go to massing and site and create my topo surface by selecting an import instance, hovering over the CAD file, checking none, and going to the contours, clicking OK. Big green check. So now we've got contours. I'm going to pick these contours and change that really ugly material to sand and just update the sand so it's not as dark. OK. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to cut the roads out and the and then also the um, the water. So I'm just going to go to my site plan again and I'm going to go to wireframe and you can see the road here is in black. Um, let me just change that real quick so we can see it better. Um, go into my visibility graphics, find the roads and override maybe make it, what do you think, green? I'll show it better. So you can see it a little better in the green right there, but those are the roads. And so we need to um, do a subregion for that. So I'm going to go to subregion. I'm going to go to the pick line and I'm going to hover over one of the lines that are the roads and I'm going to tap my tab key. And it's going to go all the way around those because they're a polyline in AutoCAD, which makes us happy. And then you can single left click and it will select all those. Now once you've done that, just go to the modify to stop the selection command. And these are kind of funky, like that one right there is kind of weird, so I'm just going to delete it. And then I'm just going to go to the draw line and I'm going to draw a line from here to maybe here and then trim it out, you know, so it can makes a complete circle and hit the big green check. Oops. It's not intersect each other. So let's see. I've got something going on here. So let's delete that. And let me draw... Oh! This guy is still in there. I need to delete that. So there was an extra line in there. So there we go. Now it ought to work. Big green check. Go to 3D view. You've got that guy split out. Oh, that's annoying. Um, and let's put a different material on it. So if I pick that split and go to by category and let's put asphalt on it. I don't know. I guess. I don't know if it's asphalt or not. You can put whatever you want on it. Maybe dirt. Right, we can put site earth and let's just, ugh, it's so hideous. Make it a lot lighter. Okay, click OK. All right, so, um, oops, and let's 
Ugh, it just will not fade it out in the shading. So I'm just that's too hideous for me. So I'm just going to make it a much lighter brown, and less redder. Click OK. One of the few times I actually do that. Next thing I'm going to do is split out this um, thing of water. So again, I'm going to go to subregion, and I'm going to go to my pick line. I'm doing this in 3D, which you can too. I'm going to tab select pick all those and I just need to close that one line off so I'm going to go to line from here to here big green check and then put some water in there I don't know why everything is brown in this program um, maybe make it a little green okay so now we got some water Last thing I'm going to do, go to my site plan, and I'm going to put a building pad in around there. So, um, building pad set to plan A1. Um, you can go to the pick line again and just pick the outline of the building. This is going a little long, so I'm going to go to the trim here and trim that off. Hit the big green check. If I go to 3D, I've got a site ready for a building. Okay. So um, that's pretty much what I want you to do. I did it in six minutes. Um, hopefully you can do it in 15 or 20. All right.